Cold Fusion adds a lot of interesting enhancements to the regular HTML forms, and this is what you will discover in this video. So let's return to Cold Fusion Builder. In this video, we will use the comeplaywithus.cfm page. So I open that page and I run it in the browser. Remember that it contains a form here on the sidebar. On that form, you have three text fields, the first name, the last name, and the email address one drop-down list for the instrument and a text area that allows for an additional comment. Of course, at the end of the form, you have that submit button to send the data to the action page. All right, let's return to Cold Fusion Builder and see that form in the HTML code. So it starts on line 50 right here and you see that form tag of HTML. Now Cold Fusion allows me to change that form tag for a CF form tag. Of course, if I do that, I also need to change the ending tag to end CF form. Now, a cold fusion form does not need an action attribute. So that's the first difference between a cold fusion form and a regular form of HTML. If you do not supply any action for a CF form, it will create a self-posting form. It means a form that sends the data to the same page on which it is defined. Also, another difference here is that a CF form uses the post method by default, and that is different from a regular HTML form that uses the get method by default. So here, I do not supply any method attribute and it will default to a post method. All right, inside the CF form, I can use also CF inputs. So I will change those three input to CF input like that. And now that those fields are CF inputs, I can add a few extra parameters, a few extra attributes to those tags. For example, I can add the required attribute and make it equal to true so that I make those pieces of data required. Required equal true for the last name and required equal true, of course, for the email address. So this is one thing I can do. For the email address, I can also add another attribute, which is the validate attribute. And I can ask ColdFusion to check if this data corresponds to the pattern of an email address. Of course, I cannot check if it is an actual email address, but at least if it respects the pattern of an email address. And if we do not respect those rules, we can add a message, for example, here, please enter a valid email address. Same thing here for the first name. Please enter a first name and here a message. Please provide your last name. All right, if I save and run the page, you see that the form is still there. If I right click to inspect that form in the developer tools of Chrome, you see here that the CF form has been processed by Cold Fusion. It has been replaced by a form tag of HTML. Cold Fusion has generated an action attribute and that is now a self posting form. You see the action corresponds to the same address as the page here, as you can see in the URL bar of the browser and the method attribute has been also generated automatically and it defaults to post. Now let's submit an empty form so I don't fill any data and I click on join the band and here Cold Fusion has generated a JavaScript that tells me enter a first name, provide your last name, enter a valid email address. If I provide my first name and last name but some dummy data for the email address, ColdFusion should tell me enter a valid email address. Of course, if the data is not an actual email address but respects the email address pattern, dot com, then it validates. And here the data has been posted but there is no form processing code at the moment. So that's why 
it reloads the page as if nothing happens. In the next video, you will see some more goodies of the CF form tag.